During the next few weeks, more than three billion people around the world will be watching the World Cup live on TV from Brazil. Each goal, each foul, sharing cheers and tears. And all thanks to communication satellites thousands of kilometers above our heads. It's a huge event uh, for uh, satellite uh, uh, transmissions. I mean, actually, live events like, uh, like the, uh, the World Cup, uh, satellites are, are being heavily used uh, for, uh, for the broadcast to, uh, to the uh, viewers uh, all over the world. Once in space, satellites follow a geostationary orbit and use solar energy to boost broadcast signals. But how do images filmed in a remote football field in Brazil end up on our TV screens? To give you a basic idea of the main steps in broadcasting a goal from Brazil to your home, we organized our own little kick around. In this team, each player represents a different stage in the process of transmitting images from the stadium to your home. So the signal is passed from the camera, to the studio, to the satellite, to the downlink, and then into your TV, tablet or smartphone. Explained like this, it looks quite simple, but it's high technology put to the test. And in every World Cup, new technological advances are being pushed through. In the last uh, World Cup, uh, there was the uh, introduction of, uh, of uh, high-definition uh, television. In the one in, uh, in Brazil, we are going to uh, see the content uh, in ultra-high-definition television, which means that uh, we will see uh, four times more details than we, we saw in the last uh, event. In the future, viewers may even become fully-fledged television directors, choosing the camera signal they want to see at any time. With advances in uh, wearable technology, I think that the, the players will, uh, will have cameras and I, I will be able to see a striker when he's attacking or the goalkeeper when he's uh, in a penalty or, or he's uh, uh, waiting for a free kick. For this, lots of data will need to be processed and transmitted. And the European Space Agency is already busy developing a new generation of lighter, more powerful satellites. We are working already in the European Space Agency in developing that technology so that it will be ready uh, when it is needed uh, in the next uh, World, World Cups uh, to come. One thing is sure, satellites break down borders and connect all of us. Whether it's the Football World Cup, the Olympics, the Eurovision Song Contest or a royal marriage, Broadcasting from space means audiences are counted in the billions and everyone gets a front seat.